I'm just trying to nail down exactly the facts, right? So there will be a discretion given to the Home Secretary to effectively ignore European Court rulings. Well, there will be a, a, a Section 39 discretion. Now, I'm not saying that that will give the, the Home Secretary carte blanche to, to overall uh, rulings. Well, let's be clear on what's happening here. The Prime Minister wants a series of amendments added to his illegal migration bill, which will hand additional powers to the Home Secretary, allowing her to disregard and ignore court orders. If passed, the changes would allow her to override decisions made by the European Court of Human Rights. Just think about that. It's a blatant undermining by this government of the rule of law, which means governments must respect and follow domestic and international law, and disputes are ruled on by independent courts. Sunak's plans will undermine the global rule-based order and set a dangerous precedent within the international community. It's unthinkable. This is a government which has proved itself willing time and again to break international conventions and laws whenever it suits its political agenda. So we believe that our bill is compliant with the ECHR. By now, even Larry the Cat knows Sunak's illegal migration bill is a flagrant breach of the government's obligations under both the Refugee Convention and the European Convention on Human Rights. It says as much on the front page of the bill. The bill, very unusually, on the cover, says the Home Secretary is unable to make a statement that the provisions of the Illegal Migration Bill are compatible with the Convention rights. And there's more. In a letter to Tory MPs, the Home Secretary conveys the legal advice that there is a more than 50% chance the provisions may not be in line with the Convention. But ministers are still shamelessly telling the public this. We, we believe... Long. Yeah, so no, we, yes. we, we believe it to be legal. Well, we'll find um, out when we... That's why yeah. Um, yeah. The government's view, and my view, is that our measures are lawful, that we are complying with our international law obligations and that we are complying with obligations contained in the Refugee Convention and the European Convention on Human Rights. Very legal. Sunak's bill effectively allows the government to commit human rights abuses without consequences. And there's more. The government's public order bill will treat peaceful protests like knife and gang crime. Its Bill of Rights bill will reduce human rights protections and significantly reduce government accountability. Its planned anti-strike laws will rob millions of workers of their democratic right to take industrial action, force them to work against their will and allow them to be sacked if they refuse. All measures designed to restrict opportunities for individuals and groups to express their opposition to the government. How are we sleepwalking into this?